I'm Ed. I'm Cathy. And we're heading out to uh, Liberia at the end of 2024. Yeah, and we've been on this process for about the same time that we've been married, which is about eight years. Yeah, come on to me. <laughs> Sorry. So my background, I'm from the Royal Air Force. I've been a pilot in the RAF for just under 16 years. Um, heard about MAF when I was around about 14 years old. So that's when it sort of first started for me. Um, but I have a real passion to see uh, aviation used for good in the world. Uh, my background is in marketing and communications within the charity sector. Um, I've heard about MAF because they were working with uh, the charities that I've worked for. And uh, when Ed and I first started dating, we talked about going overseas and serving. He suggested MAF. Um, obviously, I don't have a background in aviation, but I very much see how they uh, help those uh, in poverty and help fight injustice, which is something I'm very passionate about. The process of joining MAF for us was a little bit longer than some uh, take. I had quite a lot of experience in the RAF, but transferring that over to the civilian environment was a bit tricky. Licenses, uh, hours requirements. So it's just taken a, yeah, about eight years or so to, to get everything to the point where I could be of use to MAF. We're going out to Liberia, hopefully by the end of this year, 2024, uh, which we're both very excited about, uh, bringing our two kids uh, with us as well. Um, I would definitely recommend having a look at the infrastructure because the roads in Liberia are very poor, the environment's very harsh, uh, lots of rain. Uh, Monrovia, the capital, is the wettest capital in the world. Um, so as you can imagine, those dirt roads just get washed away. Um, so using aviation to get around the country is a really good way to do that. To get from one end of the country to the other by road can take days of travel, if not months, actually, when you get bogged down in the mud. With MAF, it can take an hour and 45 to get from one place to the other. So there's a real, uh, a real benefit that, uh, that MAF has seen that they can be of use to missionaries, to anyone else really who just needs to get around the country. Yeah, so they do lots of things like medivacs or transporting missionaries or resources, all those sorts of things that would just be impossible in the wet season just because the sheer amount of rain washes the roads away. And as Ed said, people just get stuck in the mud for a month plus with no way of getting anywhere. So MAF in Liberia is a real lifeline to a lot of the people there. So my role's not clear just yet. It really depends on schooling and a few other factors. I would love to collect stories of how MAF is making a difference in Liberia and send those back here. Um, but we will see, we'll see what God has planned. I think to anyone considering uh, taking their family out into the mission field uh, would be to um, yeah, really pray about it and see and I think just look at the, the, the benefit of what you can bring, your skills, and I think it will be amazing for the kids to see a different way of life, to see how privileged they are right here, to see a different culture, and to see how God firsthand is working through a charity like MAF, I think will just be an amazing experience for them. So I'm really excited for them. I think it'll be a real adventure. We found MAF to be really supportive on our journey from the absolute beginning when we had that first interview um, through to where we are now, which is uh, employed by MAF, ready to go out overseas. Um, they've helped us with the support fundraising element. They've helped us in discovering our calling and just finding out exactly what that means. And in all those little practical things that you maybe don't think about, the shipping of stuff out there, housing, all those things that you might have concerns for. MAF have been doing this for quite a few years um, and they've, uh, yeah, they've been really wonderful to us. Yeah, I think MAF have been amazing, supporting the whole family. They really consider us as a whole. It's not just about Ed and his job, it's about me, it's about the kids and what will that look like for all of us. Um, giving us lots of training, lots of preparing us to move and live cross-culturally, what that will look like help with kids with you know the schooling side of things there's people I can reach out to if I have any questions um, yeah they've just really thought about everything and we've felt very supported through the whole process 
to find out more about us, we have a website, uh, wingingitburrows.com. We also are on Instagram and Facebook, so you can look us up um, or you can get in touch with us. If you want to support us, you can go on the MAF website, Kathy and Ed Burrows, and you'll find us there.